Welcome to the Crick Blog Podcast's preview of all the teams for the IPL 2023 season. Now we're previewing the champions in their inaugural season, the Gujarat Titans, an incredible triumph last season against all odds. I don't think a lot of people would have had them winning the title, given that they seem to have a few gaps in their squad, but they came together and played unbelievably well as a team. They arguably look stronger this season. I'd like to get Nash's thoughts as well. Nash, welcome to you for this video. What are your initial thoughts about Gujarat Titans for, for 2023, mate? I think, yeah, like you said, last year against all odds, they did win the tournament in their in their debut season. Uh, this year, uh, I think they, they're just going to go strength st- from strength to strength. Um it's 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 going to be interesting to see who they open with. That's that's what I'm really interested to see. Mm. Uh they have got obviously they've got some established T twenty cricketers in there. They've got some international experience. And and the playing eleven that I, I have gone with, it, it's it can be a bit controversial, but the, the team that I've gone with is Gill at the top, Williamson to open with him, uh Matthew <laughs> Wade at, at number three, Hardik Pandya at number four. David Miller at number five, Rahul Tewati at number six. Yep. Vijay, Vijay Shankar at number seven, Rashid Khan at number eight, Sai Kishore at number nine, Shami at number ten, and Yash Dayal at number eleven. I think that rounds out that rounds out Gujarat Titans for me because what they what they have is in in, yeah. in the poll is um. If if they want to go with Kane Williamson at the top, I think they have to leave one of the fast bowlers out. It's it's either going to be Alzari Joseph or Joshua Little. I think they have to unfortunately leave them out. But if mm. if they don't go with Kane Williamson and they go with someone like a Rhythm and Saha, I think they have that bigger room where they can yeah. get a, a foreign uh, fast bowler. What contrary contrary to what you've said, if I'm if I'm playing Williamson, I'm not going to play Wade because Rhythm and Saha and Matthew Wade struck at around the same strike rate last year. So I'm going to use my overseas slot for a uh, pace bowler. So Azari Joseph or Josh Little. Yep. They're both Makes very sense. good. Yep. They're, they're both very good in their own right. Um, David Miller is out of the first game because he'll be yep. for South Africa. So I've gone Shubman Gill, Saha to open with him, Kane Williamson at three. I think Williamson is in for a big season, by the way, because I think Hardik Pandya is I the kind of... I have that feeling as well. I've got that feeling because Hardik Pandya is the kind of leader who's going to get him to say, he's going to sit him down and say, this is what we expect from you. We want impact. If you score, if you make a low score in each of your first three games, for example, we're not going to care. We want you to face 15, 20 balls and hit 30, 35 runs. Yep. We want you to play with impact. The kind of form you showed five years ago, I think We're I think gonna, we can we can expect Kate Williamson to go at a strike rate of let's say 130 for 140. 100, 130, even, 140. Even, yeah. 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 He's got the game for it. He's produced it before. Yeah. But I think w- when he was batting for sunrises, he's thinking, shit, I'm the leader here. I've got to bat through. Yeah. And you can't do that. So I think they're gonna sit him down and say, This is your role. And I've got Hardik Panja at four. Um when David Miller's not there, I'll, I'll put Matthew Wade there at five. He's got experience batting in the middle yep. there in T20, so I'll put him at five. And then David Miller to slot in in his place when he comes back. Uh, Rahul Tawacha, Rashid Khan, Sai Kishore. I'll have... This is an interesting one. Do I go Josh Little or Alzari Joseph? I love Josh Little, but um, I think they might start with Alzari Joseph. And then Yash Dayal and Mohamed Shami. That is such a good yep. team. A really good that team, That is a good team. That yep. is a good team. Um, I think what what I what I see uh, happening with Gujarat Titans is, especially for the reasons that you mentioned with with Williamson and Wade and 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 you know um that that you know Rhythm and Saha, who they go with, I think they are going to struggle a bit uh, to find that perfect balance, and that's why I, you know I'm yeah. giving my prediction here, um number three for for Gujarat Titans, not okay. four. Yeah, I think I've got them. What I had, Sunrise's second. I think I think Gujarat can finish top again. They've got the side to do it, and they play at home at Ahmedabad. They've got a great balance, good seam attack, and then of course Rashid Khan, not bad. Um, if I would have to say something about Gujarat Titans, is last season they won two or three games that looked impossible to win. So it's like improbable victories out of nowhere. It's very hard to do that again. So if they get into those positions, 
can they win those games again? And if they don't, what happens? So, you know, can they bounce back from defeats? They only lost four games all season last year. So if they do yep. happen to lose a few more this season, how will they bounce back? They've got the experience and the quality to do so, but that's a question. And I think the batting lineup is a bit shorter compared to other teams. I know Tawacha is an incredible talent. He's pulled off some incredible run chases, but yep. having him at six is is definitely handy. But it makes can the he do it line, consistently? Is can he do question. it consistently? Is the question, and it just makes the batting lineup maybe look a touch shorter than compared to some of the yep. other teams. But mate, they look very, very good again. They look good. They're in my top four. So that's our preview of the champions, Gujarat Titans. Can they go back to back? We'll wait and see, but they've, they're well placed to give the competition another very, very big shake. We've both got them in our playoffs. Do you agree or disagree with us? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching.